Gazi from Blades and Triggers. And today I've got something quite interesting with me, something new to Blades and Triggers, and um, we've got the new Acrony chronographs. We've got two different models, MK1 to my left and uh, the MK3 on my right. So let's take a look and see what features um, I actually packed in these bad boys and see what it can actually do for you. Alright, so let's take a look at the Acrony MK1 and this is a battle mounted chronograph. It basically comes with two rubber bands and attaches to the front of your barrel and um, yeah, we'll actually read the velocity. What you get in the box is you'll get the basic charging kit um, in terms of using the, the chrono without any batteries. You can use your, 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 your charging block. It does take three AAA batteries at the bottom. And then the other thing that you get with the gun is besides the instructional manual, you get a data cable. So the data cable will actually allow you to give, get all the readings that you get from the chronograph onto a PC to give you a bit of a more detailed look at what your gun or what the gun actually does in terms of velocity. And then last but not least, you get a decent carry case. Um, and this you'll get all in the box. Let's take a look at the MK3 and what you get in the box on that specific unit. Okay, so from the standard MK1 and MK3, um, box pack or what you actually get in the box, there's nothing much different or there's nothing really different between the, the two of them. You get your, your power source or your power cable um, and then you obviously get your data cable as well, your normal product or instruction manual and yeah, quite a nice carry case as well. So between the two in the box, the basic box, basic box set, you're not going to get anything different um, but what you but the chronographs itself. So let's take a look at what you'll get from the chrono and see if we can test it a bit. All right, so quite interesting, we've got the MK1 uh, set up on a CP2 quickly and we're gonna take one shot uh, to see what uh, reading I'm gonna get out of a 15.89 grain pellet in the 5.5. So let's take a look. All right, so let's see what uh, what else you can get, what other information we can get on the unit itself. All right, so quickly looking at the, the air crony and its display screen from the one shot that we actually took, you get three buttons, S1 to the left and model S2, S3, and that will basically run you through pretty much all the, the modes of the, the chronograph. Looking at what we actually shot, pressing S1, um, that will give you your bullet weight and we had a 15.89 grain pellet which we actually shot um, The next one up we can actually by pressing S2 or S3 we can increase that um, The weight of the pellet itself going back out as I said one shot taken and the average velocity average energy um, was 8.56 joules then velocity you're looking in foot per second foot you're looking at 492 foot per second. Then pressing the middle button, that's S1, you get the, the amount of shots we, we took. And if we took a little bit more shots, we would have actually got a little bit different reading or more readings in um, a different idea of what we've actually been shooting at. Um, it would obviously give us the average energy from the shot strain, then the average speed from the shot strain itself, and um, depending on minimum speed we obviously gave, max speed in terms of velocity, and then your consistency, as well as your standard deviation. And all this can actually be shown on the PC screen by actually adding or taking your data cable, plugging it in, you can get all this information on your laptop or your PC as well. Cool. All right guys, so there we have it. A quick overview of the Acrony MK1. Um, we didn't really test the MK2 or MK3, sorry, um, but I'm actually looking forward to taking this one out on our next trip to the field where I can shoot or where we're going to be shooting a little bit of bigger pellets or a little more faster pellets, faster rifles if you can call it that. Um, 
these bad boys can actually pick up speeds up to 2,000 meters per second and um, yeah anywhere from small for 1.7 or actually a, a, vari a variation of different caliber sizes and weights um, up to basically 65 grams um, in weight as, as well um, it can read your basic airsoft air rifle and up to a normal paintball pellet or paintball round itself take a look at the air chronos when you're looking at purchasing or the next add-on to your air rifle or rifle kit if you can call it that or pistol kit um, you can shop for any of these on bntonline.co.za or any of our 13 stores but i'll see you on the next one